Howdy everybody. Welcome back. I hope everybody's doing great. I have a really cute fashion idea today. So anyway, get out your old boots because these boots were headed for the trash. I mean, I didn't know what to do with them anymore. <laughs> I kept looking at them and thinking these are going either to Goodwill or the trash because I didn't store my boots properly and they got creases all over them. So I'm gonna revamp them today. So anyway, before I go on, a shout out to everybody. Everybody's been so nice for subscribing and I appreciate it. Y'all are great. So anyway, um, this is a little Western thing. I mean, you don't have to do it Western. You can do whatever you want. But I wanna do a shout out real quick to uh, In the Kitchen with Karen. I love your videos. You're great. Oh my gosh, I wanna do all those. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna cook all this stuff. You know, and, and I love the dessert one, you know, with the pecans. I'm a pecan girl, so you, you really hit it with that one. I loved it. And real, tw real twinning slots, real twinning slots, two very pretty girls. They subscribe. They're very nice, and I love watching their videos because they seem to win a lot. So I'm like, hey, I want to watch winners. I love watching people win money. That's my thing. I love it. That's why I watch A Price is Right because I love to watch people win money. And also... Kalua Slots, I hope I'm saying that right. Kalua uh, Slots, I see you on all the websites, you know, all the different sites, and, and you're great, and I like your videos. And I believe you're AC, you're from Atlantic City, and we did Atlantic City three times, and we loved it. It's been a while, but we, we have family over in that area, so we love that area. And also, uh, let's see, Lewis, Lewis Kitchen. Lewis Kitchen, thank you so much. Uh, I like, I like your dessert that you had the other day, and I keep going to your site, so keep up the good work. So I love that. And and also, uh, last week on my a contest, I had Cheap Meal Food Cat one, and my friend called, and she said, Elvis. I know that's who it is. It's El it was the first thing she said when I answered the phone, Elvis. So it was so funny. So I hope you, I'm, I'm glad you got your stuff, because the mail's been terrible. So anyway, I sent out face masks. So, and Casanova Slots, thank you so much. And J&K Stay in Vegas, I love being a moderator on there on Saturday night. You make me feel really special. Thank you. And uh, I like the whole, you know, I love watching the lights. And I cannot believe the lights at Resort World. Those lights are incredible. I mean, lights have come a long way in Vegas. And I look at that, I'm like, wow. I mean, I can't believe it. So anyway, check out this crazy little video here today. So anyway, I grabbed old fabric that I had and I, all this stuff was gonna go out. I was just gonna give it away. I was like, you know what? And then I thought this light bulb idea came up. I thought, boom, you know, one of those ideas. I thought I'm gonna refinish these boots. So this is a very simple one. All I did was I grabbed a very old mini skirt. It was a long skirt. Then I tried to cut it into a mini skirt. It didn't work. And then I thought, you know, I like this sequence, but I don't know what to do with it. So that's when I thought, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this, I'm gonna trim it up. And I had these boots, my Lucky Brand little booties here. They have holes in them. Look, I even tried to stitch them. Isn't that hilarious? I tried to stitch them, I was gonna take them to Vegas. I was too embarrassed. I was like, I gotta throw these out. They have, you know, I'm stitching holes in boots. I'm like, I can't do that. So what I did was I just recovered it. And all I did was I just went at a, a, a diagonal because I didn't want to do the whole boot. I thought that's just too much work and it might not come out very well. You know, it'd have kind of wrinkles in it and I'm going to get a nail so that I can go along the, the, little, the little curb here. So anyway, just check this video out real quick. And, and, and I was thinking, I was thinking these, you know, I thought, I don't know, you know, if the world's ever going to go open up, you know, but It'll probably be summer. So I was thinking, will I wear these with shorts? I was like, wouldn't that be something? Walking around with cowboy boots and shorts. So they'd be like, who's that crazy person? So anyway, I hope everybody's doing great. <laughs> Gambling Granny, thank you so much. I have to tell you, I enjoy your show. Oh, all you're going to do, guys, you're going to go out. As, I went as a slant. And this one turned out okay. And this one, oh, this one I have to go this way. So that's all I want to do. I just want to trim these. I don't really want to, you know, I mean, if you want to put in more work, but fabric to this, you can either use the E6000 glue or you can use hot glue. And that's what I'm using because the E6000, the oil started to come through the fabric. And I didn't like that. It left stains everywhere. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just do the glue. So all I'm doing, I just glue this and I lay it down exactly where I want. And if you mess up, it's okay, because it peels right off. 
and you can just you could just overlay it you know you could just add more you could add more fabric so this is all i'm doing here it is right here very very cute i love these i can't believe how good they come out you know when i showed my husband last night he's like wow you know those actually and you know he's not one for crafting but he's like these actually look pretty good you know that that looks pretty good so <laughs> i thought i must be doing something well if he actually was like wow so he kind of liked it so anyway, but Gambling Granny, I got to tell you, we were looking forward to your show. I was, and I had, I had your show going and everything. And my husband said, we got to put the, we got to give the cat a pill. And I was like, what? I was like, I'm watching this show. I was like, I don't want to do that. And you won't believe this. He talks me into this and we, we end up, he's like, you put the water in, squirt the water and I'll put the pill down the cat's mouth, you know? So he's holding her in a towel and everything. And she's a booger because... <laughs> She's just a brat. Her name's Lucky Luciana because she's a girl and I named her after a mobster. So I got Lucky and I got Bugsy because I got him during mob week. But it was so funny because he, uh, the cat flipped upside down and the pill kind of went in, kind of didn't. And I was kind of squirting the water. And my husband's like, hey, did you get it? Did you get the pill? I think it went pretty well. I think, I think she got the pill in her mouth. And I looked up at him. And your show's going on in the background. I can hear dice, you know. And I look up and my husband has the pill on his cheek. He literally has the pill on his face. And <laughs> I didn't care at this point. I just wanted to get back to your show. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it went well. Yeah, I was like, I think I think she swallowed it. So anyway, I ended up crushing it up in her food later. She ate it. It was hilarious. But I was like, oh my God. I was like, just let me get back to my show. I was like, I waited a whole day for that. Was I wanted to have some fun, but I don't want to do this. But it was hilarious. See, I'm just wrapping this, guys. This one's very simple. Oops, what did I do? Okay, there's one nail. Okay, I already lost it. And then this is the little part. This is the hard part, though. What you're gonna do, and I would I would trim later. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna put it along the edge, and then you're gonna tuck it in with the nail because don't burn yourself. Don't burn yourself. It's just not worth it, you know. Here it is right here. And I wanted to put beading, and I have this cheap beading. This is, they sell this by the roll for like a dollar at Michael's. I've had tons of it, and that's all I had. But if you have pretty beading, use what you have, you know? Don't spend any money. Use buttons, whatever you want. I just liked it because I wanted the sequence on here. That's all I really wanted. I just wanted the sequence, and I thought, you know, I'm going to save this fabric, I thought. I thought, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to throw it away. And I don't think anybody would have worn that mini skirt, you know? They at Goodwill, they just would have tossed it. But I have some long boots, and I had these boots for years, and what happened, I meant to get pool noodles, you know, the pool noodles. I was gonna cut the pool noodle in there, and I was gonna go ahead, and I was gonna, you know, cut them up properly and store my boots over the summer. I never did it, I never did it. They got a big crease down the middle of them. They look terrible. That's why I'm trying to save them now. Okay, so as you can see, I glued that down. Now I'm just gonna trim. I'm just gonna trim, and I think I'm gonna go a little bit, I'm gonna go a little bit long so I can see what I'm doing here. I'm not gonna trim exact at this point. This is so easy, I could not believe I didn't think of this earlier. I could have been wearing these. I thought, oh my gosh. I was like, I could have worn these. So anyway, we'll, you know, if the world ever opens up, like I tell you. And I don't think we're, Houston's having a rodeo this year. I mean, it's gonna be in May or June. And by that time, I don't know, it might be a little too hot. Around here, it gets to be 100 degrees pretty early. I don't think I'll be wearing boots. I think I'll be wearing like little flats or sandals or something, but you know, and I'm an urban cowgirl, you know, I don't do the whole roper thing and I don't wear the, the really good boots that, that people, people here buy boots for, oh my gosh. They spend hundreds on boots here. I don't do all that. I'm just a little urban cowgirl. You know, I like to wear the dresses and all that and the, the belts and just to kind of look cute. But, you know, after radio season, it all goes back in the closet. I just stuff it back in the closet. I don't even care. So, anyway. Okay, this looks much better. Hold on one second. Hold on. I have to throw something at these kitties. Okay, I have to throw something at my cats. They're about to get in a fight. <laughs> Terrible. I was like, come on, be nice to each other. Never adopt kittens during mob week. When Ray Liotta was doing that mob week on PBS, I was like, what am I going to name these little kittens? So that's why I've got Bugsy Seagal and I've got Lucky Luciana. So anyway, but they're terrible. They fight. 
So anyway, but I love them. They're cute. Okay, I'm just trimming this around here. And there you go. Easy peasy, guys. Easy peasy. And, you know, you can, that's why I had the little nail out here. So you could tuck it in. Tuck it in around the corners. Okay, now this one was an okay project. This one's kind of neat. You know, I kind of liked it. Kind of liked it. I, I could go up the back here. And I might even get some beading and go along these little, you know, let's see, I like the single beading instead of the double. But I thought I could even decorate it like that. You know, if I really wanted to do some pizzazz on that. But here's the best one. I went ahead and I had this shirt and it didn't fit anymore. And it was just a regular shirt. Oops. Don't. I made my John Wayne necklace. I love John Wayne. So, I like his movies. So, so anyhow, I had this shirt and I didn't know what to do with it. And it's way too little. It, it doesn't even close anymore. And I've had it in the back of the closet. And that's when I had this idea. I thought, I'm going to cut this. And I'm going to cut out the pictures. And I'm going to put them on my boot. And that's what I did. Look how good it turned out. And I really liked it. So anyway, and then what I did was on top of putting the little picture, and here it is. So I just, I'll show you a couple because you can kind of see where I'm going with this. You know, on top of that, I embellished each picture. So I took a little bit of the beading. Let me get rid of that. I took a little bit of the beading and I decorated my cactus. I did my, the, the little belt there on the horse. I did the brim of the cowboy hat and the Indian here, and I just loved it. I wanted kind of cowboy and Indians, and I would wear these, you know, I thought with leggings, uh, I've got denim kind of leggings, or my, uh, my I've got kind of a, a denim, I have a denim a shirt dress, I would wear this. So I really liked it, so I cut out these pictures, and like I tell you, the shirt was going out in the trash, and, or in the Goodwill, and look what I did to these boots. Look, I didn't store them right, they got a big crease up the middle. And I was like, do I hide the crease? What do I do? And I didn't want to mess with the pictures, so I kind of got them on each side. So you'll see. You'll see as I go. But I liked them, and I was like, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and do what I can. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work with what I have. Oops. Okay. So all you would do, you know, and believe it or not, this works. Hot glue works. And just put it in the corners first, and then you can go ahead and... And if you mess up, you can kind of just peel it right off. Just peel it right off. Look how easy that is. Peel it right off. And I put a towel in here. I rolled up a towel and I uh, went ahead and worked easier with that. It's just, you know, it's just simple. Just simple, simple. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, it's a little bit homemade looking, I know, but I don't care. You know, and if they, t you know, if you don't like the way they turn out, I can wear my jeans with it. I thought I could just put my jeans over it. But I kind of want to show these off. I kind of like them. I kind of like them. So I, I couldn't believe it worked. And when I was cutting this, I was like, this is never going to work. I thought fabric on leather, it worked. I really liked it. So I thought, okay, okay, I'm going to show, I'm going to show this off. I thought, I'm going to show this easy, easy craft off. So anyway, so that's all you would do. And if you wanted to, you could embellish, you know, you could do all the whole thing on the sides and all that. And I thought about all that, but yeah, I don't know. I, th I thought I'm just gonna kind of keep it pictures and that, but here's the best part. My little trim is an old chain belt. I had this old chain belt. It's just a cheapie. It doesn't fit because you know, you know how it is, I'm getting older doesn't fit and I thought I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this up a little bit and that's where I got my trim for this boot and all I did was I just hooked it up you know and I think I took wire just to make it easier on myself but just put a little piece of wire or paper clip bend it up and you could attach this so this is super easy guys you can see where this is going so I don't want to bore you with all the other stuff but just you know just if you have old boots, don't throw them away. Save them. Save them and see what you can do. So I thank you for coming back. And next week's little project is going to be uh, Super Bowl stuff. Because I'm going to do my little windsock out of the whole, you know, little bowls and stuff that I have. The, the containers out of the, what is the containers? Uh, cheese ball container. That's what I'm working on this week. So anyway, I hope you like this. Thank you so much for coming back. And have a great week, okay? Bye, everybody. Stay safe.